Thank you very much, uh, Madam Master of Ceremonies. Given the protocols already established, um, um, like the Master of Ceremonies, I attempted to reach out to my German friends. But the interesting thing is my phone died, so I never heard the voice note that was left. So I will not attempt uh, to pronounce the German names of our esteemed colleagues who are with us this afternoon. Honorable ministers from Barbados and the Dominican Republic, um, ambassador um, of the, the European Union, um, other esteemed uh, representatives of the European Union, the government of the government of Barbados, the government of Germany, and of course, um, GIZ. I bring you warm greetings from the CARICOM Secretariat and in particular, our Secretary General, Dr. Carla Barnett. It is a huge pleasure for me to be participating in this closing event on the Technical Assistance Program for Sustainable Energy in the Caribbean, the TAPSET program. Ladies and gentlemen, the discussions this morning eloquently projected the success of the intervention and on behalf of the Caribbean Community Secretariat, I take the opportunity to congratulate GIZ, the government of the Federal Ministry of Economic, the German rather, Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development, BMZ, and the program team under the capable hands of Simone, as well as the partners, both at the regional and the national levels for the tremendous success that TAPSEC has been. Colleagues, I hasten to add that project success can only contribute to regional development if we are able to adopt the successes of the project and integrate those successes into the normal offering of services within our institutions and within our respective nations. I therefore present a provocative proposition that as as we as actors in the energy sector, we must do all within our capacity to and resources, not only to secure the successes of, of TAPSEC, but to integrate TAPSEC and its measures into all of our normal offerings for the transformation of the energy sector in the Caribbean. Ladies and gentlemen, the CARICOM Secretariat is honored to have served as a key strategic partner in the development of TAPSEC. Funded under the 11th EDF, I therefore pause to commend the European Union for its commitment as a strategic partner supporting sustainable development in the Caribbean. Thank you very much on behalf of the Secretariat. Through the initiative which we are celebrating this afternoon, we recognize how partnerships are critical in embarking on the mission of building a viable, sustainable, and prosperous community for all citizens of our community. Our CARICOM heads of government have placed the matter of renewable energy and energy efficiency as a cornerstone for building resilience in the Caribbean. This drive from the top is what accounts for the establishment of SICRI and even last week, at the Summit of the Americas, the heads of CARICOM and the Dominican Republic were able to successfully negotiate three main interventions with the government of the United States, with sustainable energy being one of those three. The CARICOM Secretariat will continue to perform its convening role, and equally, we will improve our service provision at the regional level to synergize efforts, to leverage project outcomes, and to roll out robust and sustainable initiatives to expand and fortify tangible results in the field of energy efficiency. I know I am speaking to the converted when I say that climate change is a global cross-cutting challenge that cannot be tackled by one country or one sector alone. In fact, we heard from Ms. Carrasco from St. Lucia this morning 
that regulators have benefited from the collaboration and growth from the lessons of others. We must therefore continue and CARICOM Secretariat will continue to place itself at your disposal to maximize the benefits, collaboration and regional engagements as we all rise together. Although TAPSEC is coming to a close, I anticipate that the partnership of the past five years and the successes derived from the engagements pursued will serve as a stepping stone for further partnerships for results in the energy sector. In fact, this morning I heard a call for TAPSEC2 and I saw heads of a number of persons of significance in the room nodding in approval. So we look forward to what may possibly be the TAPSEC2. CARICOM appreciates, however, the support of our international and development partners in the transformation of our societies and our economic sectors to become more sustainable and more resilient. Ladies and gentlemen, I recognize with appreciation that TAPSEC has assisted member states of CARICOM and the Dominican Republic in advancing the nationally determined contributions under the Paris Agreement. The accelerated development of renewable energy technologies and energy efficiency measures is essential to the global objective of keeping global temperature below 1.5 degrees of pre-industrial levels. And the phrase 1.5 to stay alive is not just a catchly slogan, but for the Caribbean community, it is a poignant reminder of our social, economic, and environmental risks and vulnerabilities, which will affect all sectors of our society. We therefore have no choice but to take it seriously. Recognizing that the Caribbean region is put in, recognizing, sorry, that the Caribbean region has put in place some critical building blocks for policy-driven sustainable progress, it is of consequence that TAPSEC has played a significant role in advancing the Caribbean agenda on sustainable energy. The CARICOM energy policy and the, Car and the Caribbean sustainable energy roadmap and strategy have both progressed and national policies and strategies on energy in CARIFORUM member states, including the national energy policy in the Dominican Republic, have advanced, giving relevance to one of the major outcomes of TAPSEC. I therefore compliment the TAPSEC team for supporting the implementation of strategies for renewable energy and energy efficiency in the Caribbean. I note with interest that TAPSEC has supported the establishment of the, the CARICOM policy and regulations help desk and thanks to the intervention, member states have been able to develop a conducive legislative environment for renewable energy and energy efficiency. Innovations with the regional electric vehicle strategy, the CARICOM Energy Knowledge Hub, the regional energy information systems for CARICOM, and support to the CARICOM Regional Energy Apprenticeship Program, which we just heard about just a minute ago, are well noted and highly appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, I take some time to acknowledge TAPSEC for its support to the preparation of bankable projects, the credit risk abatement facility through the CDF and all other initiatives funded through CICRI, the CDB, CrossQ, and the Latin American Organ uh, Energy Organization. These clear tangible results help us to build a resilient future. They will all fit nicely into a network of interventions to make the Caribbean a region able to respond to the challenges of an uncertain future. I thank all gathered for your partnership this afternoon, and I look forward to further strengthening those partnerships to secure sound development results for our region. I thank you.